Death isn't something anyone likes to think about, and that's why only 32% of Americans have a will. Traditional wills specify who gets your estate when you pass away, but they rarely cover our online belongings. Well, this week, Jamie Tucker takes a look at how to leave behind your digital life and how technology is making it easier. Think about everything you have online. Photos in the cloud, bank accounts, credit cards, email, social media accounts. What happens to all of that when you die? It's really hard to get into those accounts without the username and password. Of course, you don't want to give someone your username and passwords right now. Well, Google has a tool that will share all of your digital belongings with people you trust, but only after you pass away. It's called an active account manager. Go to your Google account settings and look for the data and privacy section. You will see an option here to make a plan for your digital legacy. Here you can will much of your digital estate to people you trust. You can choose what you want to share with each person, photos, email, your entire Google account maybe. You can also add a note if you'd like for each person on your list. And if something happens to you, Google will send them an email with your personalized note along with directions on how to download the files you've left for them. Now, how does Google know you're no longer of this world? It doesn't constantly comb the obituaries looking for your name. But if you go two months without logging into your Google account, watching YouTube, or checking Gmail, Google will send you emails and text messages asking if you're okay. And if you don't respond, Google assumes something's happened and sends out the emails to your contact. This will make it so much easier on your family to close down your accounts without having your username and password. Plus, it ensures that your important digital belongings get to the people you trust. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.